there is a payoff to self-doubt. The payoff is that you don't have to try. You don't have to take the risk. You don't have to make that move. You don't have to go for it. You don't have to pursue. You don't have to work. You don't have to fight. You don't have to hustle. Instead, you can just accept and receive your self-doubt and sit safe and comfortable where you are. Why do we experience so much self-doubt? Why does it seem like no matter what you do or how old you become, you, you never outgrow self-doubt? How is it that you can have a fully successful person, somebody who is a top executive, a high performer, um, a, a major influencer, an industry all-star, and yet self-doubt never goes away? The reason why self-doubt never goes away is because believe it or not, you are experiencing a payoff from your self-doubt. There, To your body, there is an actual benefit of self-doubt. In order to understand how it works, you need to understand a little bit about how your body, and more specifically, how your brain works, right? Your, your brain is not optimized for success. Your brain is optimized for survival. And so what happens is a big part of how your brain functions is it's 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 first and foremost designed to keep you safe. And so whenever you set out on a new goal, whenever you look at accomplishing some new journey, whenever you you want to make a change in your life, the brain immediately recognizes there's a change. That is going to require a change and a change is scary. A change requires work. A change requires energy and movement and risk, the risk of failing. And so what does your body do? Your body, more specifically your your brain, uh, releases chemicals that says, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not something you should do. That's not something you can do. That's not something that likely would work out. And it immediately goes into a mode of trying to slow you down and to stop you and to thwart your progress and Unfortunately, the byproduct of that is that you lose your dreams. The things that you want most never come true because your perfectly functioning brain kicks in and releases chemicals that cause you to self-sabotage or to self-doubt. And this is why you may not realize it, but it is something worth knowing that self-doubt is a form of indulgence. Self-doubt is a form of indulgence. The pay, there is a payoff to self-doubt. The payoff is that you don't have to try. You don't have to take the risk. You don't have to make that move. You don't have to go for it. You don't have to pursue. You don't have to work. You don't have to fight. You don't have to hustle. Instead, you can just accept and receive your self-doubt and sit safe and comfortable where you are. But that is not something that multipliers allow themselves to do. It's not something they allow themselves to experience because for a multiplier, an, an, an achiever, an influencer, a leader, they would approach that differently. They would say, I don't care how uncomfortable it is. I don't care what my mind is telling me about why I can't do it or why I'm not good enough or why I'm not able. It's that they they know and they understand that that is just a natural defense mechanism. It's not the truth. Self-doubt is a natural defense mechanism. It's not the truth. That's why self-doubt isn't an indulgence. It's, it's acquiescing to your most indulgent self doing the thing that is most safe. And what a multiplier would do, what a high performer, an achiever, an influencer, what we do is we simply hear the self-doubt we don't try to argue with it. We just kind of hear it. We acknowledge that it's there and then we kind of set it to the side. That's what multipliers seem to do is, is they acknowledge it. They don't pretend that it's not there, but they just kind of acknowledge it and move it to the side and keep going. It's, it's sort of the equivalent of knowing that, hey, you know, a storm is coming perhaps, but I'm gonna go in that direction and when I, I, can, I, can, I can modify my path 
along the way, but I'm not gonna stand still. I'm not gonna stay here where I'm comfortable. I'm not just gonna do what is safe because I know I was meant for more. You were meant for more. Your greatness awaits. Your highest self is something you've not yet experienced. Your the, your true purpose is something that you still have in front of you to achieve. And so don't allow yourself to fall victim to the indulgence of self-doubt.